Hello. I'm creating this video because I want to remind myself of how I actually create my cartoons from images which I create into moving images which I then create into AVI files and then my cartoons. I use all free software and the first piece of software I need to use is something called Dark Function which allows me to create a moving GIF image. When you download it, you get this .exe file and the editor file. Don't click on the .exe file, but click on the editor file. And it allows me now to either take my images, which are the sprites, or create my animations. So first of all, I'm going to need my sprites. And if you look on the internet, you might find some images that you need, or you can actually create your own images. And you can define those from one large image with lots of them on it, images on it or you can combine different images so I'm going to use this one now from this I'm going to select my images that I want to move so I'll just take the first one I'll reshape him. Down here is a preview in the left hand corner of what, what I'm getting. And I can now start selecting images that I want to use to create my movement. So I just click on that plus box there and the sprite takes the next one. You can see down here I've got a bit of a foot in there, so I'll just move that along a bit. Okay. Now I think it's a different one. I think next time I shall use that. So I'll add that one. And see what we've got, and maybe for the next one, I'll maybe use that. <clears throat> the next one, maybe use that. And maybe it's the last one, I shall use that. So I've selected some images that I want to use. I don't want all these other images. So first of all, I'm going to make the background transparent. And I'm then going to get rid of the other images. I'm just going to select power of two. And I'm, so these are the images I want to use. That one's not so great. Uh, Gonna get rid of that. Oh well, got rid of that one. And I'm gonna save that as now this is very careful. When you save this, you need to make sure you save it in the appropriate folder. So I'm just gonna put that into that folder there, which I'll open. So it's gonna save the image in that folder, and it then says, Do you want to save the coordinates? Yes. Now, I can actually create my animation by opening that which I've just saved. And there's my list of images here. So I'm going to click on this green plus sign down here, which creates my first animation. And up here, I'll select my first image. I'll transfer that across. And that is the image, the first image I'm going to use. I'm going to remove the onion skins, I don't want that. I've got one, two, three, four, five images. So I'll just go two, three, four, five. So on my second image, I don't want this one that I had, so I'll delete it. But instead, I'll take that image. So you can see now it's different. Again with the third one, click on that, delete it. I don't want that one, but instead, I want that image which I'll then add to the frame and this image again I'll delete it and take that image which I'll add to the frame and finally this one which I'll delete that one and instead I will use this image here so I've now got these images here which I've got for my animation let's preview that by clicking on this wow that's quick too quick Okay, what we can do 
is we can delay that down a little bit. So each cell, you can set this to what you want. You can slow it down. Now let's see what we've got. That's a bit better. Uh, you don't have, a, have to look at it permanently looping. You can just have it looping once if you want, or however many times you want. So that the two. One. Now I'm going to stop that. Now this is what I want to save as my my GIF. So I'll click on this black star down here, and I'm going to export that to my save GIF images as an animation GIF. So I'll export that. I'll come out of here and now if I go into there I've got this animation which I'll just open that with Internet Explorer and you can see there's my animation it came about I'll just show you that again in case it was a bit fast for you I just, because there's only one loop there it is up in the top left okay so I have my GIF and I need to create it to an AVI file and the program I'm going to use to do that again it's a free program is something called virtual dub so I'll click on the application this time and I'm going to open the video file which was that animated GIF and if I just scroll along this timeline I just use the middle of my mouse wheel you can see you can see there is the animation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that as an AVI file great so we've got an AVI file so I now need to go into Movie Maker I'm going to add the video in fact I don't actually need to go to Windows Movie Maker that was something else so what I want to do now is I want to create my cartoon so what I, I need to do is I need to go into a free program called Wax. Now, you should see this on my other video. Quite simply. I'll invoke the Wax. Right click, add the media file. And we're going to go to videos. And let's put that over a picture of some sort. Add a media file. Let's go to pictures. And I'm going to bring the animation down. I'm going to bring the picture down. I'm going to extend that to there. Now there's the animation that we would play. But that's, that's the start of our cartoon. But what I need to do is I need to go to the video plugins, go to the chroma key, drag that over the animation, and pick a colour, which is the black. And as you can see, I can now lose that. I can just tweak that a little bit. Now when I play it, I've now got an animation over my cartoon so basically that is how you create any type of movement that you want first of all find your images use the dark function to create your moving images save it as an AVI file and then use wax to put this over the, your background or your, your particular movie that you want so I'm hoping you found that of use I hope that, that helped you so thank you for watching